Hey there, this is Priya Brata, and a very happy and warm welcome to Improve IQ. Today's video is about to know what a mineral is, and I will be discussing the criteria must be met for a substance to be considered as a mineral. So, what are minerals? If we explain this in the simplest form, then we can say these are the integral parts of rocks. In the same way, we can also say these are the building blocks of rocks. Then let us know some of the examples of minerals like uh, pyrite, sulfur, graphite, galena, garnet, quartz, orthoclase, olivine, magnetite, gypsum, etc. And individual minerals possess their unique usage in our everyday life. Then let us know the minimum criteria to be possessed by them. The first one is uh, the substance must be naturally occurring on the earth. So we can't take those substances who are actually made in laboratory. Okay. Uh, the second thing, it must exist in solid state under normal condition. Means we can't take those substances who are actually in uh, liquid or gaseous state. Then the third point is the substance must be inorganic from the origin point of view. Sure, inorganic in the sense uh, it should be completely made up of non-living things. Okay. Then fourth point that is the substance must have a fixed chemical formula. Means they must possess a specific combination of elements. Then the last one is the atomic arrangement must be arranged in a specific way. So these were the criteria for which a given substance can be considered as a mineral. Hence the concept map of a mineral is it must be a solid. It should naturally occurring, uh, inorganic, uh, fixed uh, chemical formula, and specific atomic structure. Wait, can we say ice clumps as a mineral? As it is solid, obviously naturally occurring, even it is inorganic in nature, having a fixed chemical formula and specific atomic structure as well. Try to answer this with cause in the comment section below. And thanks for watching our videos.